YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction video. Hip Hop Head React, we've got Pink Floyd, we're carrying on with Dark Side of the Moon, track number five out of nine. So we are, uh, well, timestamp wise, about halfway through. Do money. Um, obviously, gigging the side last. Um, money this time, this is another one that I got suggested plenty in the past. Um, before I was doing whole albums, sort of in a row, sort of thing. Uh, Money was one of the ones, much like Time and Great Gig in the Sky, that was brought up as a suggested independently. So I'm quite excited for it. I'm quite excited for this one. Um, I imagine it will be like Time uh, thematically, so to speak, except about, hmm, I don't know, maybe Money. Um, I just want to quickly say though, before I get into this one actually, uh, I'll put a timestamp up here as when the reaction starts if you just want to skip straight to that. But I just want to quickly say um, a, a thank you for, I mean obviously the support, I'm always saying thank you for the support and stuff, I always appreciate the support and the comments uh, and, and everything like that. But um, yeah, I just want to say a big thank you for, for the time and the Great King Sky reactions especially. Um, it's been really interesting, it's, it's added this like whole extra dynamic to it. Um, and obviously with, with Pink Floyd's music and, and the way it is and what it um, intends to get out of you, you know, it's an experience and, and obviously listening to this for the first time, um, it's like a discovery in itself, but um, doing this on YouTube, it's like opened up this whole extra layer, this whole extra dynamic to it, because um, a lot of people have been leaving comments about, um, you know, obviously we've talked about how Floyd's music is very open to interpretation and different people will experience it and, and feel about it, different things, and um, I've got a lot of comments talking about uh, different people sharing their experiences with it, saying, you know, oh, I was this age when I first heard it, and, you know, the meanings changed to mean this over the years, people talking about it, just just what it means to them, and um, it, it's just been really interesting, I, I've found, I've just found it, um, like, a, a really cool extra dynamic to, to experience in the music, listening to it and having my own thoughts and feelings on it, um, and then putting the video out and seeing other people's thoughts and feelings on it, um, it's just been really cool, so... Thank you for that. Um, I'm sorry I've not been able to reply to all the comments. I, I genuinely read every comment. Um, I've just been so busy recently. Uh, I've talked about it, papers and exams and stuff. Last paper due tomorrow, and then I should be good for a few weeks. But um, anyway, that being said, I just want to say a quick thank you for that because it's been really cool to read everyone's um, thoughts and stuff and music. That being said, let's do time. No, let's do money. We've done time. Money, Pink Floyd. This light. Is, that's why I'm off to the left. Um, money, let's, let's go. go. Sounds like money to me. I like what they do with the sound effects. There's some they've always been quite good at, but I like how the sound effects are like incorporated into the music, like it's part of the beat. It's an interesting beat, a uh, rhythm, I guess. Um, yeah, so money. Well, I think it's the same, similar sort of. So is it, money controls everything. Money controls everything. It's just the way it is. Um, we've got plenty of songs to get through, but you know, copyright after pause and stuff. Oh, no, I, I just find it interesting the way they use. Um, I don't know, I guess just sound effects, foley, whatever you want to call it, to, as part of the beat. Like it started out as just sounds and then the beat kicked in and then they were using it as the beat. I was just, it was just a little bit different. Um, money, get away, get a good job with more pay and you're okay. Money, it's a gas, grab that cash with both hands and make a stash. New car, caviar, four star daydream, think I'll buy me a football team. Yeah, please buy Spurs, give us a transfer budget to work with. <laughs> we need it. Money, get away. 
I don't think so. It's maybe like an acknowledgement of we need money, get a good job with more pay and you're okay. In theory, that's what everyone, not necessarily not necessarily everyone's working towards that, but you want good pay to be comfortable in life. Now, I want that, I'll admit it. That's one of the things I want most in life is, is um, to be in a position, earning enough money that uh, like finan- I have financial stability. That's a big thing that you know I want to work towards. Um, it's not necessarily that I'm, you know, oh, I want to be rich or I want to be like, I'm, I'm chasing money for the sake of chasing money specifically. It's more a case of, you know, I just want financial stability and everyone does really. Um, but maybe it's kind of an acknowledgement with the money get away. Is it like, he doesn't like the fact that that's the way it is. Because that's what people, you know, people say money doesn't buy happiness, all this, you know, people are always in the chase of money. But at the end of the day, there's not really much you can do about it. Food costs money, you know, housing costs money. Is what it is. Makes the world go round. Let's continue. I need to put the mic down. I was holding the mic. Two hands, baby. Two hands. Let's continue. Get back. Yeah, he said money gets back. I'm off right, yeah. Keep your hands off of my stack. Money. It's a hit. A dog. Let's give it a pause there because it's been a few minutes. It's hard to know when to pause, there's so many, it's so smooth. Obviously, normally you wouldn't be pausing, but it's a YouTube video. Yeah, no, that is, um, 
It's not, it's not just no smooth, it's also seamless from one bit to the next. Like it went from the, 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 the beat at the start for like the first couple of minutes to then it had this like sax, it had this like crazy sax solo and then it led into this whole of like guitar solo. I like how completely different instruments but yet the one solo going from that into the next solo was like smooth. No, I was actually, I was actually reading. So I was pulling faces during the sax because I was like, I was thinking, I was like, it's a weird um, beat, yeah, this is why. It meant, Genius actually mentions, particularly notable for its unusual 7-4 time signature in the verse. The only song with this time signature to top the pop charts. The 7 beat money loop also suggests we will do anything to get greed, to get money, symbolising the greed on humans. I'm not making the connection there, but that's fine. Um, yeah, it was really cool. It was just interesting, because like here, on Genius, as verse 2, and then it says solos, verse 3. That's just an interesting thing. I don't think we've had that yet, where there's been two solos back-to-back, -back, so to speak. Especially with two different instruments, no less. That was just interesting. <laughs> it was, it was, that was, it was just pretty cool. I just, wanted, I just thought that was something that was like worth mentioning, just because it was... It was just a little different, I guess. Um, no, but let me go back through some lyrics. Money, get back. I'm all right, Jack. Keep your hands off my stack. Money, it's a hit. Don't give me that do goody good bullshit. I'm on, in the high fidelity, first class traveling set, and I think I need a Learjet. So I believe he's mocking people that are so rich that even first class isn't good enough for them anymore. Notice that he says needs a Learjet. He doesn't just want one because it'd be cool to have. My oh, phone battery's running out. Yeah, no, so, you know, and so greed is a big part of it then, and it reaches a point where, you know, because it is a good point, because, like, you look at some of these super, super, super rich people, it reaches a point where it's like, you never in a million years can be able to use that money. Like, all the stuff going with um, Jeff Bezos at the moment and his wife, um, the the divorce, and obviously there's, it's a big thing because um, she's taking half of it, um, which is fair enough because that's how it how it works um and just from her taking half of his money she has just become the richest woman in the world and like amazon's massive obviously it is but like people like that that high up with that much money she's got something like she took like 69 billion they they split they have six uh, they, or they have 69 billion each or somewhere around that which first of all nice second of all what that money's going nowhere there is no way in a million trillion you couldn't you, you couldn't possibly spend all that money if you tried. You know what I mean? But yet, they're still going to keep going. I don't know him personally. I'm not saying Jeff Bezos personally is like this, but there, probably, there will be a lot of like business people out there that will continue just go money, 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 money when they don't need it. <clears throat> Daniel Levy. Um, but yeah, no, it's just an interesting concept, and it is a good point. The rich get richer, and continue to want to get richer what for you know you just reach a point where it's like what do you need it for first traveling i think i need a learjet see the rest of the song there's a whole verse to go see the rest of the song
Right, we've just gone into the next one, so let's not spoil anything. Apparently that at the end, interviews were, um... It's good. Well, I'll stay on this side. The interviews, interviews were, um... Gilmore? Roger Waters. Answers to the questions, when was the last time you were violent and were you in the right? Yeah, I was in the right. I certainly was in the right. I definitely was in the right. Yeah, why does anyone do anything? I don't know. I was really drunk at the time. I was just telling him. I'm just going to read this and trying to tie this to the rest of the song. We might need the song after. I'm, 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 the only thing associations I can make is the yeah, I was in the right. Absolutely in the right. I certainly was in the right. I was definitely in the right. Like, there's no convincing the opposite argument. So um, we'll come back to that potentially with the next one. Yeah, what was the last verse? I'm, I'm just fucking light. <laughs> um, money is a crime, share it fairly, but don't take a slice of my pie. Money, so they say, is the root of all evil today. But if you ask for a rise, it's no surprise that they're giving none away. I mean, it's just this whole, like, there's the same thing that we've added, like, the rest of, not even just the rest of the album, but Floyd in general is like, um, you know, this is very introspective of, of, of um, society, problems in society. And it's, it's coming back to what we've spoken about before with previous songs of talking about some of the issues they talk about that even however many years on are still relevant today. When was this? 73? Was this album? 73? 73. I'm just running the math. 46, well, I don't know when about's in the year, but like 45, 46 years later. And it's still relevant. Just shows how, um, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if I don't want to say ahead of the time, but like in tune with things that, that they could say all this and it'd still be relevant today. Or alternatively, I, I think I've said this in the past with previous songs, how it's like indicative of two things. One, how talented they were to be able to recognise these well, not to be able to record, but as in, like, to be able to talk about them in a way that is still relevant 45 years later. It's a good thing, because it shows how intelligent they are and how great of writers they were. I had to pause. But at the same time, it's a problem, because everything here is still true today. Everything's still a problem today. Nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Like, this is 73. My um, dad was just born, or just about to be born when this came out. He grew up, he had a kid. I was that kid, I grew up, I'm 19, and now I'm sat here saying, yeah, true that, brother. <laughs> Chase from Iraq. No, but it's the same thing. Every is, it's all still relevant, even though so much time's passed. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. We need money. Even if we wish we didn't want it. We d wish we didn't want it. I don't know. It's one of those things, I've said this, I say this every <laughs> fucking Pink Floyd video we do. It's so hard to just... So listen to something like that and just go, oh yeah, it's saying this, and um, it means this, and this is why it means this, and I interpret it like this, because there's so much to just, like you've got, you need some time to, to sit on something like this and absorb it, you know, take it in, formulate your thoughts and stuff, um, but it is, it, it just speaks so much to the talent of, of how they can make music that has transcended time, <laughs> almost. It was also just a great song as well, but then... Does that need to be said when we're listening to Floyd at this point? Because they all are. I wonder how much David Gilmore's worth. He still fancies buying a football team. I never had caviar. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was money. We'll be doing us and them next. Was the next one? Next, 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 next. Us and them. We've got any colour you like. Brain damage clips. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But so far... Um, we're like what past the halfway point now and it's been insane every second um, We'll continue we'll be back next time with us and them. Hope you guys enjoyed if you did uh, Social like the video you guys, you know, you know what to do. You've been supporting the channel. It's been great I appreciate everyone appreciate the discussions, etc um, Like I said as I'm recording this this is gonna go up today because I'm recording them one day at a time at the moment um, but I have a, a, an assignment due tomorrow afternoon and then after that I have hopefully at least a few weeks till my next assignment is due. So um, I'll be able to focus on some other stuff. But um, for now, we're just gonna sit in the light. And I'm gonna go and do that assignment. Um, see you guys in the next one. Peace.